We're here at six. It's been nearly a week since Louisville Metro Police published that investigative report as they closed the case on the old National Bank mass shooting. It revealed page after page of handwritten notes. The shooter, Connor Sturgeon, pointing to politics and what he called lax gun laws as the reasons he opened fire on his former bank colleagues. Senior reporter Isaiah Kim Martinez has been talking with Kentucky lawmakers today, asking whether these findings will create any preventative legislation. And Isaiah, is anyone willing to at least say they are encouraged by any change? Well, Doug, maybe not encouraged, but lawmakers on both sides of the aisle I talked to today didn't want to over speculate, though they did admit to the seriousness of this tragic event. But as to whether these findings will add urgency to get new laws passed, that's unclear. There's agreement, though, of course, that some of the issues that existed back in April still very much exist today unless something more is done. That 64 page report details journal entries from the old National Bank shooter, including notes written to his parents. Admitting to being mentally ill, he wrote about his unhappiness with politicians, mocking Kentucky's gun laws, and describing how easy it was for him to buy the AR 15 style rifle he used in the shooting. I don't know uh, how to respond to someone who, who is so clearly troubled. Uh, what I do know is that there have been too many of these shootings, too many instances where some legislation could have made a difference. Does it serve as a wake up call at all? Well, I think we've been awake a long time. And the reality is, is that we have a proliferation of guns. Uh, throughout the United States. In the excerpts, the shooter said during the gun purchase, he lied about whether he'd been institutionalized for his mental health struggles or whether he intended to use the gun for violence. I discussed these findings with state senators Gerald Neal, a Democrat, and Whitney Westerfield, a Republican. I don't think it raises the issue any stronger. I'm not sure it's going to change anything significantly that's not already in the works. I think even if we adopt a series of policies, which we should, uh, we're still going to have problems because of the proliferation of guns. I don't know if you were to poll all the legislators, how many of them outside of Louisville are even aware. So I, I don't know what impact it has, if it has any impact at all. And I wouldn't want to speculate on that. For Whitney Westerfield, the senator who you just heard from there, he's working on a bill to prevent gun related deaths while also retaining Second Amendment rights. It's called CAR. It would allow law enforcement to temporarily seize a person's gun if a judge deems them in crisis and a risk to themselves or others. Westerfield tells me he's currently working on two different drafts of that bill, which will be discussed in committee next month. Doug.